Is it the end of the world? Storms and hurricanes strike America and Europe. Strange insects invade Russia and attack tourists. Hordes of red beetles invaded the city in Russia. They have strange behavior and they are biting tourists on the beaches and spreading all over the city, causing panic and fear of the people of the region. The beetles spread widely on buildings, rooftops, trees, beaches, umbrellas, and the chairs. They pushed most of the population to flee. Tropical storm included blew across the coast of the Mississippi Gulf in the United States of America during the night and dumped heavy rains that caused floods and hurricanes that destroyed homes. More than 120 people died and hundreds were missing due to devastating floods, which is considered the worst in the history of Europe decades ago. The world is at a risk of exceeding the temperature of the planet to the limit set by climate scientists. Some regions of Luxembourg and the Netherlands also exposed to heavy rainfall. It was reported that 22 people were killed due to the harsh weather conditions and a lot of citizens were evacuated from their homes. Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo declared a public mourning in the country and said we are waiting for the final count of the victims. But these floods are the most catastrophic in the country's history. Hundreds are still missing and about 15 police and emergency teams have arrived in the area to help in search and rescue operations. While the helicopters rescued the stranded on the rooftops of the houses, the tanks cleared the roots of rubble, broken trees, and shrapnel. Residents in the area told AFP that the disaster had caused them great shock. Where did all this rain come from? What a strong storm! We felt that the doors would break. The town of Van Kelpeller in the Netherlands was one of the town's worst affected, as the authorities had to evacuate many homes and local residents built barricades in the face of the flood waters, from plastic shopping bags that were filled with that. One of the bridges has collapsed, and rescuers pulled water from under the rubble to reach to gas pipes to treat gas leakage from them. But no victims have been reported in the Netherlands so far. But the authorities asked many residents in the affected villages and towns to leave their homes and asked 10,000 residents of the Dutch city of Maastricht to leave their homes. In the city of Verveer in Belgium, clips and pictures of floods sweeping the streets and pushing the shoveled cars appeared. The instructions were issued to the residents of the city of Ledge to leave their homes. The authorities asked those who couldn't leave to go to the highest area in their places of residence, and the water level in the river flowing through the city is expected to rise by one and a half meters, a statement that the crisis situation is exceptional and requires solidarity. The Belgian king visited an emergency center in Chaud Fountain, southeast of Lyak. In the Netherlands, King Alexander and Queen Maxima inspected the damages in Falkenburg near the borders with Belgium and Germany, where the floods swept through the town center and the authorities had to evacuate many houses. Now, let us see some clips and pictures showing 
How damaging were the flutes?
Sen de çek. Biz nereye gidiyoruz? Sen de çek. Je ne sais pas comment on va s'en sortir, mais on est au premier étage. Il y a... On est cinq adultes avec deux bébés de deux ans, un petit garçon de six ans et un de dix ans. Des animaux et il euh, y a tout qui part en couille. Il y a déjà plusieurs voitures qui sont parties, des camionnettes des morceaux de bâtiment. Là, ça c'est euh, sur la route du passage à niveau, un peu plus bas que chez moi. Voilà, on tire sur le toit. Putain, un truc de malade. Un truc de fou, quoi. Si la mienne était garée dans la rue, alors...